Welcome to the Elucidate How-To Series for Salesforce. In this brief video, I will show you how to use the Email to Salesforce feature. It's very important that you track the emails that you send to your customers and prospects in Salesforce. Having a record of your email communication allows you to review conversations that you've already had and to prepare for your next conversation without having to search your various devices and accounts for individual messages. If you send an email to a contact from Salesforce, that email will automatically be logged. However, many companies prohibit or discourage sending email directly from Salesforce due to concerns that the email might be flagged as spam. In addition, it might not always be convenient to send your email messages from Salesforce. Most likely, you send messages to your contacts from a variety of places, including the Outlook client on your work laptop, Outlook webmail at home, Gmail and other web-based clients, as well as your mobile phone. If you use the Outlook client and your company is using the Salesforce for Outlook application, you can automatically log emails in Salesforce using the Salesforce side panel or by using the Salesforce buttons in Outlook. But what happens when you access Outlook from another machine via the web application? Or what if you need to email a contact from a web-based system like Gmail? More importantly, what if you send a message from your phone? The answer is email to Salesforce. Put simply, this feature allows you to blind copy a designated email address anytime you want to log an email in Salesforce. Assuming this feature has been enabled by your system administrator, you need to complete only three simple steps and you can begin logging your email messages in Salesforce. First step is to obtain your email for Salesforce address. Every Salesforce user has a unique email to Salesforce address. To locate your unique address, access your email settings by clicking on your name and selecting My Settings. Under My Settings, click on Email, then click on My Email to Salesforce. This is your Email to Salesforce address, and the email address that you'll want to BCC or blind copy whenever you send an email that you want to be logged in Salesforce. As you can see, it's rather lengthy and definitely not something you'll commit to memory. For now, I'm going to select the address and copy it. In just a minute, I'll create a contact in my email program and paste the address there. The next step is to configure your email to Salesforce settings. There are just a few settings you must edit before you begin sending emails. First, you must let Salesforce know where emails will be coming from. In this field, enter any email addresses that you'll be using to send emails to leads and contacts. First and foremost, you'll want to enter your corporate email address. If you send work-related emails from other email addresses, such as your personal email, you should enter those as well. Use a comma to separate the email addresses. You can review the default settings in the Email Associations section and update them if necessary. These settings determine how emails are assigned to records in Salesforce. Be sure to click Save to save your changes. Third and final step is to create a contact for Salesforce in your email application or on your mobile phone. Go to your email application and navigate to the Contact Organizer. Create a new contact. Paste the Email to Salesforce address in the Email field. I suggest naming the contact Salesforce so it's easy to find when you are composing an email. It's important to note that you should also create a contact on your mobile phone, especially if you send a lot of emails from your phone. Depending on your phone and settings, your contacts may or may not automatically sync, so it's always a good idea to create the contact manually on the phone. You are now ready to begin emailing your prospects and customers. After you've composed your email in the BCC field, type the name of the contact you created. Know that you should always use the BCC rather than the CC field so that your contact won't see the copy. When you send the email, Salesforce uses each email address in the To and CC fields to locate a contact or lead. If the email address matches, the message is added to the activity history list for that person. What happens if a match is not found for an email address? You can review and assign unmatched email messages by clicking on the Unresolved Item Shortcut link on the Salesforce homepage. Then click on the Emails tab. From here you can manually assign any unmatched email messages to a contact, lead, or account. Note that you can forward any email directly to Salesforce by entering your email to Salesforce address in the To field. This might include emails you've sent in the past or any emails that you forgot to BCC to Salesforce. Just be sure not to include any other email addresses in the To or CC fields. Salesforce will search the To, From, and CC fields in the forwarded email for addresses that match your leads and contacts. 
This concludes the video on using the Email to Salesforce or BCC address. You can now log important emails in Salesforce from any application or device.